Obviously, it was a pretty tough third quarter there, but uh, really proud of our kids. I thought they played really hard all the way through the end. Got a lot of young players playing out there, and you know we knew that they're uh, kind of a turnover machine. They really go after the football and, and really caught us there in the third quarter, and the game kind of got away from us. But I thought that we, the kids played really hard. They played really hard throughout. Uh, I thought they really bought into what we were trying to do. And, uh, you know, in the end, I think we got beat by a better football team. But uh, I, ha I have no concerns about the effort or the commitment or toughness of our players. I was really, really proud of them. And, you know, obviously not the result that we wanted. But, uh, they, you know, I felt really good about the effort they gave. First half, I mean, did you feel like you established a game plan that you kind of set out to do? Absolutely. I, I thought that it was that exactly the game that we wanted. Uh, we were right where we wanted to be in the game and coming out uh, tied at halftime, you know, coming out tied at halftime, going into the third quarter, getting the ball. Um, that was a big deal. The wind was a legitimate factor. I, you know, I don't know if uh, anyone scored offensively uh, going into the wind in the game. Uh, so it definitely was a factor uh, throwing the football. And uh, that, that hurt us uh, a little bit in the third quarter. Uh, just, you know, maybe some you know, play calling and stuff like that. But we were right where we wanted to be going, going in. Anything specific in the third quarter that you think it went south? Uh, well, you know, obviously, you know, fumble for a touchdown uh, was really big. And then, you know, when you st still think you're right in it, we turned it over again. I mean, those turnovers were critical, uh, be, you know, field position, the whole thing. I mean, you know, and then to turn over twice for touchdowns obviously is tough. But, you know, I honestly thought Johnny played a pretty good game. I thought he did a lot of the things that we wanted him to do. And just – but, you know, those two turnovers were, you know, were critical and man, it had a major impact on the game. They lead the nation and fumbles recovered. What do they do? So I guess they forced three on you guys today. You lost two of them. Did they do anything? They attack the football every play. I, you know, I, so – I mean, obviously, he's been doing that for a long time. You know, Coach Smith is, you know, uh, just watching him from afar. Uh, it, it's a, you know, a calling card of his teams, and they did a great job of it. You see that they attack the football in every play. And, you know, shame on us because it's, it's a fundamental thing. It's something that you can really never allow to happen. I mean, I, th I don't think you ever anticipate a fumble. You, you understand that you might turn the ball over when you throw it. But, you know, those are things that just can't happen, and they did happen, and, you know, they hurt us. But they're, you know, again, they're young players, two freshmen, and I, th I thought they both, you know, played pretty well today, and th those were just critical plays. Isaiah just couldn't go, I guess. Yeah, no, he just wasn't ready to play, and uh, you know, we we were hopeful Wednesday and Thursday, but just couldn't seem to to get to the point where he could run. So, you know, that just seemed to be the best thing for him, and hopefully in two weeks he should be fine. How about the job that Aaron did. In his place. I thought he did a great job. You know, I listen, I think we got a really good stable of running backs. Uh, those guys are great young players. Aaron and Karon both have huge futures. Aaron got banged up a little bit there. Uh, I guess it was, you know, in the third quarter. Uh, that certainly didn't help. But, uh, you know, Elijah went in and did a really good job uh, in the fourth quarter. I think you uh, walking off the field against Maryland uh, uh, five weeks ago, six weeks, weeks ago, you said this team was going to get better. You feel coming off the, lo the, the win against Liberty in the first half today that this team is getting better? Yeah, I, th I th definitely think we are. I mean, I think we actually played like seven pretty good quarters. Uh, you know, the end of the Minnesota game, I, I thought that our guys kept playing and played really hard. And then last week we did really, you know, we played four really good quarters, uh, you know, for the most part on both sides of the ball. And then this week I thought we played a great first half. And honestly, I think we played pretty well on defense the whole game. I and mean, we just gave up a couple big plays in the third quarter that hurt us. Uh, you know, obviously, that you know, that's been uh, a little bit of an issue for us all year, and it's something that we got to continue to work at to clean up. But, you know, yardage-wise, we did a good job. I mean, you know, today we, we had the ball a long time. We just didn't come up with enough points, and, you know, that obviously is a, a major problem. This is a game where that big play issue kind of hits home. I, mean, I think it had basically half their yards of three, three plays. Yeah, it, it definitely is on both sides because we didn't make any. Uh, you know, we, we didn't really – other than Moe's touchdown – I don't think that we had many really explosive plays. And on the other side, you know, they had three. So, you know, that, that's something that we've been preaching and, you know, didn't, didn't show up today. Another question. I know the win was a factor. Johnny's day overall, the touchdown to, to Mo, and then assessment of the day overall. Yeah, I thought he did a good job. You know, we started having a little trouble with, uh, you know, some protection issues. Not Nothing, you know, I, uh, just kind of getting knocked back a little bit, which kind of caused a couple of the throws in the third and fourth quarter to turn into runs or scrambles, which obviously you don't want. And, you know, you never want them to be turnover shy. You want them to be conscious of t not turning the football over, but you want to be aggressive enough. And, you know, maybe in the, in the second half, we probably weren't aggressive enough. Uh, but we kind of got behind, and we didn't want it to turn into, you know, that, a turnover fest. What they do on defense, it really – that could happen, you know, with a lot of young players out there. So um, – but all in all, I thought he did a really good job. I think he had a really bright future. And when I look at this team, 
you know, you look at the guys on offense, and honestly, you're starting to see a lot of them show up on defense, too. There's a lot of freshmen and sophomores out there that are being impact players, and hopefully, you know, they just learn from these mistakes. Every rep counts, and they have an opportunity to grow and get better over the next, you know, two and three years. The field goal at the end of the first half, I guess, what one decision to put the offense out and bring it back? Well, you know, when you look at how much time was left and the opportunity to make sure that we were tied going into halftime, getting the ball, I just thought it was the best thing for our team at that time. We needed to make sure that we were going to score. And if we got the first down, you have about 25 seconds. Uh, you know, we're not really built uh, as a great, you know, no huddle two-minute team right now. So I didn't think uh, getting the first down didn't necessarily guarantee us getting a touchdown. So it seemed to me, let's make sure we got the points.